important because the problem is about information overload, and we heard about it. And whether we're looking at medical records or news or social media search, email, consumer reviews, there is a tremendous amount of information out there and it gets overwhelming. <coughs> what a lot of people don't realize is why is that a problem? And we think that the real problem is that more than 80% of what we do online is text-based. And this is a diagram from, uh, from Media Bistro, but if you think about it, it's true, all the things I showed you before are all about text. And the question that I have for you is, do you enjoy sifting through large amounts of text? And if you think about it, almost everything that you do online is text-based. We think that's the real problem. The solution that we've come up with is called Infamous. The way that it works is the following. You choose information that you care about, whether it's news, social media, anything that is text-based, and then we show you a visual <coughs> summary of what is trending with some of the main topics highlighted, and then you click topics that are relevant to you to explore related content. I was gonna show you a live demo, but it's not working on the Explorer here. So let me just show you a little bit of animation. So again, you see a snapshot, for example, of today's hot topics. This is actually from about a month ago. Then what you do is you click a word, and that brings up a panel of all of the articles from which those particular those items are found. And then you click one of the articles, and you read it in your browser. So that's really very simple. It's like a word cloud, but much better. It's powerful, it's interactive, and it's really, really elegant. Who benefits from this? Well, first of all, those who look for information online, which is literally everybody. Why do they benefit? Well, they benefit because you spend less time looking for information and more time consuming the information that you care about. There is another group of people that really benefit, and those are the people that create and publish content. And they benefit because they can engage their users more effectively, and they can make a lot more of their content available readily so that content has a longer shelf life. <coughs> what is our go-to-market strategy, and does this really work? This is something that we always get asked about. Here's just one example. We launched what we call the Time Traveler Cloud for US, US readers of USA Today at the end of 2013. We took about 5,000 stories from the year, and we created a cloud that had a timeline underneath of it that lets you go week by week through the entire year. How did it do? 26% engagement, 10% click-through rates, and nine and a half minutes on the page. And those are pretty astronomical numbers if you know anything about these kinds of things. So the answer is yes, it really works. What are we doing with it? We have a master plan. We think that this is for everybody, for anybody that consumes or publishing information. We decided to go to publishers first, and we always get a lot of raised eyebrows for that. Why do we do that? Well, our target market is pretty big. We focus on the top 10 Alexa web, tech, tech K Alexa websites and more self-serve or smaller sites. The target, the pain point is high bounce rates and short content shelf life. The overall market is digital advertising. Basically, there's an advertising model I'll tell you in a minute. So it's over $100 billion a year. And we look forward to making about $200 million a year by year five. There is a bonus, which is we really think of this as a channel strategy to get to the consumers. And so in our second phase, which we're launching early next year, we're gonna have the target of consumers, journalists, marketers. The pain point is overwhelming to navigate content. The overall market, again, is advertising plus some premium models, and the revenues that we project by the fifth year will be around $100 million a year and growing rapidly. The way that we make revenues is mostly through advertising, and without going through the detail, the point is that there are many different opportunities to increase the effective revenues for 1,000 clouds that are published, whether you're consuming information or publishing the information. We've had early success. The editor-in-chief of USA Today called it fantastic. A number of other publishers are using it. We have a very strong team. My co-founder and, and VP of Operations, Scarlett, is in the crowd. She's the one that gets everything done. I'm more of the idea person, and we're about to hire a top-notch uh, SVP of engineering who's been at Fortune 500 and startups. Our competitive inspiration comes from two sides, and I call it inspiration because we can actually collaborate with a lot of these people, and we're already doing that. One is people like Outbrain, Taboola, so content marketing, native advertising. And the second one is more of Flipboard, Zites, Feedly's that are actually trying to get content to the readers. And the beauty, as I said, is that we can actually partner and we are starting partnerships with some of these. So what are we doing? We're looking for $750,000 bridge round. I'm personally putting in 150. I have one other investor that's matching me and we're gonna use it to hire some engineering, some client support, and some sales. We are going to establish a revenue stream in the next six to nine months we're going to improve the technology and start to design the consumer site that has been essentially the, the dream that has been driving me. And in, in addition, we're planning to do a Series 8 about nine to 12 months. So I want to leave you with a closing thought. Text is really everywhere. So from now on, when you see text, think infamous.